Hi, my name is Mark Cruz, and in this installment of the D850 First Look series, I'll be going over the video capabilities of Nikon's newest DSLR. We've already talked about how still photographers will benefit from this incredibly versatile D850, but what about filmmakers? If you're looking to shoot in UHD 4K, then the D850 gives you multiple formats that you can choose from. For the first time on the Nikon DSLR, you can record full-frame UHD 4K videos, which utilizes the whole sensor and allows you to take advantage of the many high-quality wide-angle micro lenses that are available. You can also select to record in the DX-based movie format, which provides a 1.5 times crop factor on whichever lens you're shooting with, making it a great option for wildlife or action scenes when you can really use that extra crop factor. It's also possible to record to an external recording device, allowing uncompressed broadcast quality 4228 bit UHD 4K files. While you're recording in UHD 4K, you can select between 30 and 24 frames per second. If you have a scene that you think you might want to slow down in post processing, you can select 1920 by 1080 and shoot it at 60 frames per second. But what happens if you have a key moment that you know you want captured in slow motion and you want it even slower than what 60 frames per second provides? No problem, because with the D850 it has the ability to shoot at 120 frames per second and then records it at either 30 or 24 frames per second. This gives you either a 4 or 5 times slow down video that is recorded directly in the camera. So. The D850 is providing filmmakers with the quality that they need and want, but what about making their life easier while recording? Nikon has had zebra patterns in a number of DSLRs, but now with the D850 you can select the highlight brightness value ranging from 180 to 255, allowing you to have confidence that your exposure is perfect right out of the camera. To provide that same confidence level when it comes to focus, brings us to another first for Nikon DSLRs, peaking. While recording in 1080p, you can choose between three different levels of focus peaking, high, medium, and low, and also choose between four different color options, red, yellow, blue, and white. While peaking is very important in the video world, it also is an excellent tool for still photographers as well. Whether you're doing very precise macro photography work or you're manually focusing your Nikkor lens. Anyone who shoots time-lapse sequences should also be pretty excited about what the D850 now offers. Thanks to the 45.7 megapixel sensor, each photo from the D850 is now above the resolution of a single frame from an 8K video file. So, if you use the interval timer shooting option to create individual still images that you will combine later using third-party software, you now have the ability to create up to an 8K time-lapse movie. If you prefer the camera to create the time-lapse for you, use the time-lapse movie option to create up to a UHD 4K movie. Any of these files can be down res to a full 1080p resolution if you choose, or you can use the larger resolution files to include zooming or panning movements in the final product. If you watched part one of the D850 video series, we talked about the full electronic shutter and how that provides a completely silent shooting experience. Well, now when you're shooting a time-lapse on the D850, you can turn on silent photography, giving you multiple benefits with this new option. You won't have to worry about noise coming from the camera and distracting those around you. The wear and tear on the shutter is significantly less compared to when the mechanical shutter is used. And sharper images can be achieved because there's no mechanical vibration introduced by the shutter or mirror mechanism. Anyone who's attempted to shoot a day-to-night or night-to-day time-lapse sequence knows the frustration of finding out the best method for this tricky situation since manual mode has to be used when shooting the night portion. But aperture priority or P mode should be used as the light begins to change. The D850 already has one of the lowest metering thresholds of cameras on the market. That means it can see and meter in incredibly low light but when you turn on exposure smoothing for interval timer shooting or time-lapse movie, this extends the metering capability of the camera even further, allowing you to shoot the entire day-to-night transition in P or A mode. So when you look at all the upgrades that the new D850 is providing to filmmakers, and you combine that with how many improvements are seen on the still photography side of things, 
I hope you can agree with me when I say that the D850 might be Nikon's most versatile DSLR ever. If you'd like any more information about the D850, please visit our website.